Bob Bretall and I have one of the world's largest comic book collections. I've got right around 90,000 different unique comic books. Um, they cover everything from superheroes, crime, western, funny animals, um, all different kinds of comics and I've been collecting for over 40 years. The first comic I remember buying for myself was Amazing Spider-Man number 88. And it was the first one that got me to come back. You know, I came back the next month and I got number 89. And then that was it. From that month to now, I, not a month has gone by that I haven't been buying comics. I currently buy about 100 and... 15 to 120 comics a month. Wow. So I buy and I read about 115 to 120 comics a month. Um, it's just, it's a form of entertainment that I've always enjoyed. And it doesn't matter what kind of comic it is, whether it's an issue of The Walking Dead to an issue of Spider Man, it can be any kind of comic, but a good comic told by a, a very good writer in conjunction with an artist who clicks you find yourself just drawn into the world of that comic. And for the amount of time it takes you to read that comic, if it's 15 minutes or you know 25 minutes or whatever amount of time it takes, the rest of the world kind of goes away and you're drawn into that world of that comic book. So that room is just kind of for display purposes. The uh, actual bulk of the 90,000 comic books are in here. I've got what, 319 at this count, long boxes. And you can kind of see when I say long box, it's pretty long. <laughs> you know, they're pretty heavy. But they're comics from across hundreds and hundreds of different publishers. You know, it's just I turned around at one point and I saw that... Uh, you know, somebody in Australia had um, 68,000 comics and it was kind of like the world's largest comic book collection. And I'm like, I've got way more than 68,000 comic books. And I actually started, you know, looking through my database and, and counting the comics. You know, I still had 90,000 comic books. And it's just like, okay, well, that's more than 68,000, so... There's people who read comic books, and there's people who collect comic books, and there's people who do both, and I do both. It's better now, because comics don't have as much of a stigma attached to them now as they did 30 years ago. And they don't have to be embarrassed about it. I think it's getting better. You know, it probably a little bit of ways to go, but, you know, as time goes on, people get more accepting of, of these things. I think that any, anybody who likes storytelling and likes adventure or any kind of uh, stories, check out comics because there are comic stories for every taste. You know, every kind of movie, every kind of TV show, every kind of video game, whatever the genre is that you like, if you like fantasy, if you like superheroes, if you like action, there's some comic that is going to appeal to you. You can read all kinds of really great stories in comics.